始まんないねあ待って。Thank you for joining today's Words of Wisdom with Prayers. With Taiwan's new president taking office, the world is on edge. May China decide against invading Taiwan and chooses to. Contribute to world peace as a major power. Today's word of wisdom is China will start by paralyzing Taiwan's modern technology. This year is an election year with Important elections for the world happening around the world. Among them, Taiwan's election was extremely significant. On January 13, the presidential election took place, and、mm. Mr. Lai Chin To from the Democratic Progressive Party. Won. He is considered more radical than the former president, Ms. Tsai Ing wen. This month on May 20, he took office as president. The media s in the world are reporting about. The impact this will have to the world. Today, I'd like to introduce one of the perspectives of Master Oka, the Earth God, on this matter. First, in his latest curtain, Faithful to the Truth, published on April 24, page 41. Master Okawa says In China, Mr. Xi Jinping is in his third term. If he fails to take over Taiwan during his third term, He probably will not be able to serve his fourth term. In other words, China is on the blink of invading Taiwan. What we need to remember is that. As Master Okawa said in his lecture in Taiwan in March 2019, Taiwan has never belonged to China. It's not about whether Taiwan should become independent, it's already independent. That's why we use the term invasion. Whether China i n v a d e or not is a critical turning point that will shape the future of the world. 
How does China plan to attack? Master Okawa explains it like this. From the Kyoten, the laws of Messiah, page 73 to 75. It is projected that the words of the 21st century will no longer be limited to dropping bombs or shooting missiles. Most of the Earth's civilization today is largely dependent on electric waves. So, it is projected that the satellites will be the first target rather than the nation's cities or its ships. And when satellites are destroyed, what will happen? It will make the nation almost defenseless because in most cases, intercontinental ballistic missiles or easy SIPs, SIPs that function to gather information, detect attacks and fire back, rely heavily on satellites. Destroying satellites can also affect systems on Earth. Almost everything lands on electricity. So, an electromagnetic interference or radio inter frequency interference would disable TVs, radios, and phones, trains, buses, bread trains, and maglev trains could all be rendered useless. Therefore, I think warfare by disrupting information networks or by network shutdown is also likely. This tactic could cause the instant loss of all combat capabilities by destroying any system running on electricity. It would have the same effect as shooting an animal with a tranquilizer dirt. It would work like anesthesia and the more modernized the nation is, the greater effect that tranquilizer will have. It would not only disrupt transportation, it would, it would not only disrupt transportation and communication systems, but also cause the collapse of the financial system. Majority of the financial system is now based on electronic payments. If someone ever thinks to destroy the financial system completely, they could wipe out the personal finances of individuals and of a whole nation, steal them, or do many other things. If China were to attack Taiwan, I believe they will start by paralyzing Taiwan's modern technology. Their main focus will be knock out their air defense system. I think they will start by causing a system malfunction so that it won't work and cannot communicate. It said that the most likely period for the Chinese Communist Party to take action is from November 
five this year to January 20, 2025. This means between the U.S. presidential election on November 5, where either Mr. Trump or Mr. Biden win, will win and the inauguration on January 20, 2025. With the Russia-Ukraine war and Israel-Hamas conflict already happening, a China-Taiwan war is something we must avoid at all costs. Therefore, we need to do something to prevent a china taiwan war. So, what can we do? If you work in the media field, please study Master Oka's teachings thoroughly and report accordingly to the society. If you have family or friends in the media field, tell them about the master's teachings and ask them to report to the people. Next, we should spread the teachings of Master Okawa, the Earth God Elkantare, and promote faith in Elkantare worldwide. It's not just about reaching world leaders or the medias. Share it with your family, friends, acquaintances, and the people you interact with daily, whether in person or through messaging apps. Uh, let us do our best to stop China's invasion and protect world from destruction. Uh, today, we learn uh, what we can do from the political and military perspective. Next time, I will introduce teachings from economic and then religious perspectives. As usual, in the description section of this YouTube video, you'll find links for the curtains that I introduced today faithful to the truth, the laws of Messiah. Please visit and check them out. Now, let us recite Happy Science Prayers. Lord El Cantare, Master Riho Oka, thank you very much for giving us your great light every day. We practiced the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self reflection, and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we recite the true words spoken by Buddha. Prayer to the Lord and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The true words spoken by Buddha. Behold, O Kala. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. Through the prism of Buddha, 
there appeared seven colors of rainbow reaching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. Their spirits are immortal powers. Their spirits are immortal forces. Their spirits are real entities. Their physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is the symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need the boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock, and you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to pan in the stream, then you can change your course. The true words means the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words, and Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days, or to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now, here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by. Yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your mind. That is the reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other, and it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night, the dark night of this world is here. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now, here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirits in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia, shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously. Believe in one another. The world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas. Believe in that the light has reality. Believe in that love has reality. Believe in that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together, to keep right mind, and live in tune with Buddha's words here. We vow to do so.
prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Cantar, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. Our Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love earth. Protect us from all evil and open the future for us. Our Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits. My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and the shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and define my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Thank you for joining our wonderful days.